بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أكيدتك لا تنادي فهمه يا بني قومي يسودا أعيد للدنا أمجاد عصر وفل بالحديد لنا القيود Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everyone, this is Colin once again. And I greet you all with uh, peace and blessings of Almighty God be upon you all. Uh, this is a update uh, of mine right here. Um, I labeled it Aussie CDA update number three. I've lost track how many of these updates I've done. So it's number three. Uh, and it, it, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I'm making this update now because uh, a, lot, a number of things have happened and I, I've been really busy and so I've had, I haven't had the opportunity to make this update. I actually intended on making this update about two weeks ago, but I'll explain as to why uh, that didn't occur. Some of you probably noticed that I went from making no videos to uploading a tremendous amount of videos in a short amount of time. And so um, probably it's probably been difficult for some of you to keep up to speed with every single topic I've been covering in the past week. Um, the reason for that is because I switched internet providers. I went from Comcast to AT&T. And so there was a period of almost a week where I was unable to have internet at home because we had to give Comcast back their modems and their crap and then AT&T had to give us all their stuff and they had to come out here after three days once we installed it, blah, 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 blah. It, it was quite annoying because then I was reduced to being a Wi-Fi nomad. In other words, I had to use public Wi-Fi, uh, whether at the local Starbucks or the um, or at the public library, uh, or just to check my email. So for some of you, you probably you know was, were still able to keep in contact with me, whether in the comments sections or the personal messaging, because I was able to, to do that. And uh, frankly, I didn't really feel like uh, I wanted to make videos out in public. In other words, be sitting in you know in Starbucks uh, refuting uh, haters and having people walk by with their uh, caramel frappuccinos and going, "This guy's crazy." Um, I just didn't feel like doing that. So for about a week, I didn't make any videos. However, I rec pre-recorded some, and that's why I was able to upload so many um, at once. Was because I had pre-uploaded or pre-recorded many of those videos. So besides that, my summer classes have started again, and uh, or have started, I should say. So yeah, uh, you know, just been you know pretty busy actually. So have been able to make a whole bunch of uh, videos, uh, you know, right away. Um, however, I've this time that has passed. I've learned a lot of things and met a lot of interesting people here on YouTube, and uh, some have became friends, m metaphorically speaking, and uh, or, or sarcastically. And some I had to drop off my friends list um, because they, well, they pissed me off. But. Um, <clears throat> I guess I want to start with. I'd like to uh, read off a list that I made of upcoming attractions to, on the channel. Um, basically, uh, these are upcoming video topics that I will be doing by myself, but hopefully with the cl collaboration of others. Um, these are either because people have asked me to make the videos in question. These are, you know, not just any Tom, Dick, or Harry. I mean, these are people I know who have come to me, who I've known for a while, and I'll mention them by name because I know they don't mind. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, recently I've been making a lot of videos that refuted many haters' uh, arguments. Um, got in a really nice dialogue with my friend M.K. Vine, who, non-sarcastically speaking, is an actual friend of mine, um, Roman Catholic, Christian, and that was entertaining. That was not planned at all. A dialogue between myself and him. But it turned into one, and I must say that that was really enjoyable, and he agreed. So uh, these are the new batch of videos that are going to be coming out in the near future, hopefully not too late and uh, too long after this video. Um, the first video is by request by my friend Silas. Um, his um, you uh, account name is Yeheshua is my lord. Uh, he had seen that I had done several videos on the topic of Surah 9 and was interested in me doing a video about Surah 9 verse, verses 123, which uh, I thank Silas for reminding me of this verse. This verse is not 
championed as much as the other verses by haters against the slum, but it certainly is one that uh, Robert Spencer, in his books, definitely mentions amongst other places. So uh, I will be describing that verse and, and using the commentaries, the tafsirs, and uh, and whatnot, uh, what modern scholars today say about it, to give a broad scope of what the history uh, of interpretation of this verse is. Uh, another video I'll be making is uh, for a while now, and I apologize to the brother uh, on Stickham, he's known as Kabandi, I don't know if he goes by the same name here on YouTube. Um, he had asked me a while ago, and I, again, I apologize to the brother for not getting to this until now, he uh, was interested in a book that I own by Lawrence Brown, who's a convert to Islam, a revert to Islam, uh, who wrote a book called The, fi the First and uh, Last Commandment, I believe. Uh, the first and final commandment, excuse me, where he did an excellent chapter about proving, or at least he hypothesizes and attempts to prove, that the paraclete, or the uh, spirit of truth that's mentioned in the Gospel of John, is indeed uh, a human, would have to be a human based on the Greek text, and that he, of course, being a Muslim, stipulates that it's the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, this is book. This book is from a very small publisher, so you cannot find this. No one, you know, not everyone can find this book with ease. And he was very curious about it, so I'm going to make a totally separate video where all I'm going to do is just read the chapter on the subject. All rights reserved to the author. I will go through that in the video um, for legalities. But I'm I'm going to share this knowledge with uh, with him him and with others so people can review what the author says. So please, when I make that video, I'll reiterate, again this, reiterate this again in the video. If you're going to leave comments on the content of, the, of, of, of what I read, please know it's not my work. So if you if you have objections to it, um, of course you can share them, but I'm not going to really defend it either way because this is just his opinion. Whether we agree with it or not is up to our own personal opinion. So you don't need to go after me if you don't like what I quote from his book. Um, another series, again, I have two series that are coming up. One was completely planned, the other one I just made the decision of making it about, oh, oh about five minutes ago. Uh, the first series is, is going to be uh, refuting the idea that the, that the Quran is corrupted. Um, Ahmed's Quran 3 has recently made a trilogy of videos called Uthman's Quran. May God be pleased with him. Of course, Ahmed's Quran 3 does not give Uthman that honor, but uh, yeah. Uh, point is, is that uh, he made this video asserting that uh, Uthman's Quran, amongst other manuscripts of the Quran, and he goes about all the classic arguments that have been refuted over and over again already about the text of the Quran and about the integrity of the Quran, and he brings up a lot of sly, little lying uh, argumentation, which uh, I have two books I'll be utilizing completely in that series. One book is called the Inter An Introduction to the Sciences of the Quran by Yasser Khadi. The other one is the text, uh, History of the Quran, uh, chronic text by oh, what's the scholar's name? By M. M. Al Azami. So I'll be utilizing both those books, which are both excellent books, by the way. And I will be using those to refute his claims, which, uh, funny enough, his claims are refuted in uh, both books. We're going to go through the entire concept of the Quran from resuscitation, from revelation, re revelation, resuscitation, compilation, textual. So it's going to be a pretty long video, and we'll see how, how much we can fit into one video in, e in each part of the series. The next series that I said I decided to make about five minutes ago is uh, was the is the Quran just a plagiarized book of fairy tales? Um, that's the name of the series, and I will be making these videos as a tribute uh, to a person I just recently met called Islam Watch, and he's got a couple numbers after his name, but frankly I could care less uh, about what his actual name is. Uh, he has made uh, a sport out of making several videos that claim the Quran is nothing but plagiarized materials from past uh, either scriptures or histories or uh, well, you know, hymns, poetry, whatever. Uh, funny enough, most of his material has already been refuted, so this will, should be pretty easy. I've asked the uh, help of other uh, scholarly individuals here on YouTube to assist me with the task, because you know, there's a lot of material he invokes. I'm only one person, um, but hopefully I can get collaboration on that, and we can duly refute this individual. Um, Beyond that, the book that you see in the camera is called The Dead Sea Scrolls and the First Christians by Robert Eisenman. I put this book up here because I've recently been reading books by Robert Eisenman, who's one of the top scholars, foremost scholars, on the Dead Sea Scrolls and the origins of rabbinical Judaism and Christianity. 
and uh, he's written books like James the Brother of Jesus, the New Testament Code. I highly recommend these books. Um, not to be mean or blunt, but people have told me, and I agree with them, Jews have told me this amongst other people, this book, his books, decimate Orthodox Trinitarian Christianity. In toto. Completely. And I don't say that with any sort of glee or anything, I'm just being honest. This, this really proves that the, 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 the assertion that Paul corrupted Christianity is so true when you read these books, and that James, the brother of Jesus, was the true spiritual successor to Jesus. Not a prophet, but I mean just a successor of his teachings in Jerusalem is just astounding. So I thought I would just mention that this is some of the books I've been reading while my internet was down. So uh, yeah, just thought I would share that with you guys, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's it for the update for now. Hope you're all doing well, um, and uh, no matter who or who you are. So yes, thank you everyone for watching. Peace be with you all.